regular session of the Senate in the 19th Congress of the Philippines. It is hereby called to order. After tending to the needs of thousands of families affected by Typhoon Karina, Senators resumed their legislative work to tackle various measures in the legislative process. The upper chamber passed on third and final reading Senate Bill No. 2555 or the Motorcycle Crime Prevention Act during its session Monday. Sponsored by Majority Leader Francis Tolentino, Senate Bill No. 2555 introduces key amendments to address several issues including the removal of the doble placa requirement, implementation of RFID stickers for vehicle identification, adjusted penalties, and extended compliance periods on motorcycle registration. The Senate also ratified the Bicameral Conference Committee report on the bill that seeks to impose 12% VAT on non-resident digital service providers such as Netflix, Disney Plus, and HBO. Minority Leader Aquilino Coco Pimentel III delivered his Contra State of the Nation address. In his speech, Pimentel commended President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. for banning the Philippine offshore gaming operators but noted that the country continues to face a myriad of problems. Before the plenary session Monday, Senators led by Senate President Francis Cheese Escudero received the National Expenditure Program from Department of Budget and Management Secretary Amena Pangandaman. The Chamber also adopted Senate Resolution No. 128 expressing gratitude and commendation to Senator Juan Edgardo Sonny Angara, who is now Department of Education Secretary, for his invaluable contributions to the Senate and the nation as a Senator of the Republic of the Philippines. The Senate also ratified the Bicameral Conference Committee report on the disagreeing provisions of Senate Bill No. 2221 and House Bill No. 7325 or the Magna Carta of Filipino Seafarers sponsored by Senator Rafi Tulfo. The upper chamber during its plenary sessions also resumed consideration of various proposed measures like Senate Bill No. 2665 or the proposed Philippine Archipelagic Sea Lanes Act, Senate Bill No. 2415, which calls for the creation of a VAT refund mechanism for non-resident tourists, Senate Bill No. 2034 or the Reserve Officers Training Corps Bill, Senate Bill No. 2450 or the proposed Blue Economy Act, Senate Bill No. 2587 or the proposed Enterprise-Based Education and Training Framework Act, and Senate Bill No. 2620, which seeks to amend Republic Act 11223, otherwise known as the Universal Health Care Act. During the Committee on Public Works hearing led by Senator Ramon Bongrevilla Jr., officials from various government agencies, including the Department of Public Works and Highways, were asked about the severe flooding in Metro Manila and nearby provinces during Typhoon Karina. Senators inquired about their strategies to address the country's flooding issue. The Committee on Women, Children, Family Relations, and Gender Equality, chaired by Senator Risa Honteveros, continues its probe on the reported human trafficking, abuse, and other criminal activities involving Philippine offshore gaming operators. This week, the Committee on Public Services, chaired by Senator Rafi Tulfo, held the hearing on the status of domestic and international airports in the country. While the Health Committee, headed by Senator Christopher Lawrence Bongo, broke the implementation of the Universal Health Care Act, as well as the utilization of PhilHealth funds. Former Senate President Juan Miguel Mix Evzubiri led the Committee on Economic Affairs in its hearing on the state of the Philippine economy, as well as on bills instituting NEDA as a department. The Joint Congressional Oversight Committee on Agricultural and Fisheries Modernization, led by Senator Cynthia Villar, met to assess the implementation of the Rice Competitiveness Enhancement Fund under Republic Act 11203. 